Good morning, modern steaders. We were able to secure and smoke the bacon the other day. I'll put a link to that video right here. And today, I hope I didn't mess up. I tried cutting the bacon last night and it wasn't thick enough yet. So it was not slicing very well in the meat slicer. So I put it in the freezer. I left it in the freezer overnight. So I hope it's not too frozen. Let's get the slicer going and find out. It's a little too thick, but it's cutting nicely. Here I was afraid that it was gonna be too frozen. That is perfect. That sliced the best for me so far. I'm gonna bring all this bacon into the freezer and then I gotta head off to work when I come back. What a crazy day today at work. It got up to 70 degrees. I mean, just a week ago, not even a week ago, we had winter weather and snow on the ground. But now, it's operation. Get the tomatoes outside. Now we're just gonna take one shelf system outside and we'll leave one in here. Gonna have to do this quick before Figaro gets into the pepper plants. Yeah, you mister, what are you doing? What? You would almost think we planned that to fit there. What are you doing? Leave those doors open. Hopefully the ducks and the chickens don't get in there. And hopefully Figaro hasn't gotten into any of our plants. Fingers crossed. 
We might need the tractor. This way, come on, hey. This way. Let's see what Figaro's been up to. What are you doing, mister? Get in. I hope you didn't bother the plants, Mr. Figaro. Guess I spoke too soon. Get out of there, come on. Oh, Mr. Figaro, get out. Spoke too soon. That's not for you. Coming back in to get the celery, and the cat knocked it over. Ah! Get out of there. <sighs> Slut celery's no good now. Man! We've had that celery growing for quite a few, I want to say like two months now. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna survive. I'm excited to get the tomatoes out here and to see how well they do. I bet they're gonna grow awesome. They just smell like summer. Oh. Yep, summer's gonna be here soon. Hey, chickens. These tomatoes need to get transplanted into the larger soil block bad, but now that we've got them out here, we can do that. How are you doing, Andy? Andy. Can't wait to come out tomorrow and check on the tomato plants and see how they're looking. It sure is crazy how we can go from one extreme to another. I mean, look at this. We 
still have snow banks. I bet you that soil temperature is cold in the garden still. Yep, it's cold. It's not terrible, but it is cold. That's one of the things we have to pay attention to up here when we go to plant is it warms up quick, but that soil temperature is still going to get up to temp before we can plant and have good success. It's usually Memorial Day weekend, it's the weekend you can start planting some of your plants. We have quite a few projects we need to do now. I want to get the baby pullets, chick pullets, out of New York City and into our chicken tractor over here. And then I want to get the chicks that are in the basement into New York City. We got to get the tomato plants transplanted into bigger soil blocks. We got to get the garden prepped, making more compost, adding, getting some new garden spots going. We need to build another one of these. It's gonna, it's gonna be all hands on deck. That's one of the things. Once spring comes here, it's just like, whoa, spring is here and we better get to work. We're gonna be getting the piglets in about another month. I'm gonna contact the pig farmer probably this weekend and find out a date for sure of when we can pick them up. We're gonna, we're gonna fence off an area in here. So that'll be good. Now, I will say, the first few years of building your homestead, there's a lot of work involved. But the better you can get everything set up in the beginning, the easier it'll be after a few years. But it's a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. And even when there's a lot of hard work going on, the first couple of years, you get to eat pretty darn good. So all the work, I believe is worth it. We're going to be eating good for the next two, six months anyways. We have lots of bacon, either cured or that we can cure and make different cures with and different flavors. We got lots of breakfast sausage, lots of eggs. We're going to have oh, a lot of meat birds that we'll be putting in the freezer. We have a lot of great pork we can try a bunch of new recipes and new marinades and I'm excited. We got that ham downstairs in the walk-in cooler that's sitting in a brine. Mm, that's going to be good. I am excited to have all this wonderful food and that is why we homestead. And it's great to be able to share it all with friends and family. We're going to a friend's house for dinner tonight. Olivia was on school break and had a sleepover. And we're going to go over there for dinner and pick her up. So this is where I'm going to end today's video and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.